Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? So I'll tell you. The Exceptimine of Angel is Messenger and the Exceptimine of Destiny is to make firm establish. So my guest and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Katrina Hicks. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform the present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, angel oracle cards, guided meditation and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey and a journey through lifetimes. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card, angel oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Katrina Hicks, who will be talking about why it's important to connect to the soul of our business. Now, Katrina has superpowers, which means that she is so down to earth, but very, very spiritual. And she is an Akashic Records healer herbalist and founder of the Wise Women Revolution. Katrina has a knack for helping, for helping women to become more of their true selves so that they can do the work they love and make more money. Katrina also supports women who have lost touch with themselves and their bodies to find balance and connection so they can live happier, more vibrant lives. Now, Katrina lives in Lexlip, County Kildare. I'm sure she'll correct me on my pronunciation in a minute, with her family and... Um, works for us, luckily, off and online, which means I've been able to use her services and connect to the soul of my business. Now, with testimonials such as Katrina is a force of nature, her approach to healing is straightforward and real, and the resulting healing session is very powerful, highly recommended, and I wanted to bring more balance into my life, too many scattered thoughts, and work at deep level. Katrina helped me to do this, so if you're looking for a pink and soft and fluffy consultation, don't come here. But if you're looking for someone who knows her stuff and says it how it is, but in a completely safe and gentle environment, then Katrina Hicks is your lady. So without further delay, hello, Katrina, and welcome to the Angels of Destiny show. How are you today? Hi, Ray. How are you? Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I'm good today. Everything is, is going good. Excellent. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, yes, I live in Leakslip. That's Leakslip. How, yeah. how, yeah. how, how is it pronounced again? Leakslip. Leakslip. Yeah, yeah. It's an old Viking name. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. That, and it actually means salmon leap. That's all. Okay. <laughs> it's where the salmon sleep. So um, it's near yeah. Dublin in Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, that's where I am. Which and, and again, as you said, I can connect with people all over the world via the lovely internet. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So perfect. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that not only can you share this show, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Katrina and I want to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So, Katrina, why don't you tell us more about your journey and why it's important that we should connect to uh, to the soul of our business? Um, so, I suppose my journey started, my journey in, in healing therapies started in, God, like, yeah, just pretty much straight out of school. <laughs> I was one of the, I, I'm kind of one of the very few um, therapists, healers who kind of didn't, make a career change. Mine was straight in after school. Um, and I started with doing a degree in sports therapy. Um, and so I worked at that for um, a long time, training sports injuries, um, and then ended up um, training as an acupuncturist. So, and that's when I kind of got into the energy side of things. So I worked with like that for like maybe 12 years, I've been working as an acupuncturist and, you know, that everything was fine, everything is good. But I realized, um, you know, along my journey that, you know, everything is energy. And and if, if you're here, you probably already know that um, or, or you're aware of it and everything is energy. And so I kind of realized that, hey, you know, maybe the, there's, there's something more to um, our business rather than it just being 
a thing that we do or whatever, that there's an energy to it. And once I started kind of tapping into the energy of it, I was like, oh, I see this, like there's guidance here. There's, you know, I can actually, you know, this makes it so much easier to do, to do my business because I am, I'm, I'm getting insights and inspiration and, and divine inspiration as, as my days go by. So, um, and that all started actually when I started training as an Akashic Records healer. Um, and the Akashic Records, for anybody who doesn't know, are um, it's basically the energy of the universe um and it's the energy of your of your soul um in this lifetime and other lifetimes and they're all it's all i suppose recorded in the akashic records and so um the, there is an akashic records then for your soul so there's going to be one there for your business as well and uh, so when I started to kind of tune into this I was like wow this is making my life a lot easier <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't have to I don't have to like think about it so much I just have to tune in to this um this energy and um then I just actually started helping other people with it um and then it just became a thing that I was like, oh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm good at this. I can, I can help people make their lives easier too. Um, you know, because as business owners, we tend to have a million and one things to do. Um, we, we then have to make all the decisions. We then spend our time kind of spinning our wheels, wondering, is this the right one? What should I be doing? Um, and then we, you know, that's, it's kind of, wasted energy so when we actually connect with the energy of our business we can then kind of just you know it's nearly like we can relax into it and know that it can be divinely guided so yeah and and i've actually um twice i've uh, had readings from uh, katrina uh, with my business and it's amazing what information your business actually um wants to tell you and how stern it can be sometimes <laughs> and tell and literally tell you off um but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother um story so if we're tapping into um our business so obviously i, I know that, that it's done for me sort of like talk us through how it works so for 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 me to do it for somebody else um i I suppose for me, like, it's actually sometimes kind of hard to explain because I'm like, I just do it. But then to actually explain what I'm doing, I suppose, what I do is um, I start off with a little, I suppose it's like a, a little reading where it's like nearly like a prayer or an intention to open up to the energies of the business. Um, and then when I do that, then um, I use my, I suppose, my psychic kind of skills with clairvoyance, clairaudience, um, clairsentience, things like that. And I just tune into that energy. And then in because I'm quite clairvoyant, I see a lot in my mind's eye. I see, I suppose, the 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 business being um like having a guide and you know much like a spirit guide or whatever and then that guide then i kind of chat to the guide the guide then gives me the information and i relay it to um whoever whoever sitting with me you know and and it's something that you know you, you genuinely don't actually have to get somebody else to do it for you if you don't want to it's just sometimes easier to get somebody else to do it for you because we tend our minds tend to get in the way sometimes you know and we like to not maybe be very stern with ourselves <laughs> and so so when somebody else does it for you and, and tunes in you know there's no filter where where sometimes we filter it ourselves <laughs> you know yeah to totally um you know i've i've tried going into um, akashic records for both myself and my business and i've never been able to i've never been able to do it um so yeah, so I so I always need somebody else to uh, help me with that one because yeah, you do kind of like yeah, this might not yeah, I'm not too keen now. So you do need some um, yeah, someone telling you what your business is telling you. Um, yeah. Uh, what 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 to do? Um, yeah. So so when you 
sort of like tapping for your own business, is it different to when you tap into somebody else or is it just the same? It's the same pretty much what I do. Um, and, and that's the way I do it. But I mean, like my my business is is called the Wise Woman Revolution. And so I want women, especially like, I mean, if there's men listening, obviously <laughs> men do, but, you know, it's kind of targeted towards women. But like my my aim is so that we become the wise woman ourselves because we do have all the answers within we can go within and and listen to the messages that are coming to us so so my advice to anybody who like who is going to do it themselves or like what i do is i i just go into a meditative state and then connect with have the intention to connect with the energy of my business and then for me i imagine it's a it's a guide that's you know maybe coming to sit down beside me and we have a little chat and you know kind of i was going to do this in my business and what do you think and maybe it should be this and maybe i should do that and you know or in the mornings maybe sometimes i'll say okay you know uh, just very quickly I'll say right well what would you have me do and and then when I post for my social media and in my Facebook group I usually post kind of from divine inspiration rather than it being kind of you know pre-prepared um, and that's the way I do it and, and I feel that a lot of people a lot of people probably do this even though they don't realize they're doing it but then when we're conscious about it then and we we, we go oh yeah I am tuning into the soul of my business or the energy of my business and then we kind of then kind of get a relationship going then and we tend to then be able to sit and go within like that wise woman would do before we make a decision or before we act you know which is um i suppose what we really should be doing in our business you know instead of because sometimes we act before we think yes. <laughs> and then we get ourselves into all sorts of trouble yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so where did um, the wise woman revolution come from well, that actually, well, that came as a, a divine download from my guides. Um, <laughs> I um, I had the name long before I actually did it. Well, I, I changed the name of my group um, on Facebook to that long before I actually kind of brought it out because sometimes things come before the actual action, you know, um, depending on, on uh, what's going on. But um, I have done, I'm a herbalist, as I, as I said earlier on, and I worked with um, some herbalists and we worked with the wise woman way, where it is, you know, about tuning into our bodies, about um, nourishing our bodies, about nourishing our souls and things like that. And so, um, and then I, I, as I started working with women for, you know, helping them with their business, um, I realized that, you know, we we really do need to kind of come back to ourselves because we have a tendency to listen to other people a lot and not listen to ourselves. And um, I, the, the kind of the underlying thread was a lot of women were like, oh, I was with this business mentor and this business mentor. and She said to do this and she said to do that. And, you know, and I'm kind of going, well, what do you feel you should do? Because anything that comes from the sessions that I do is it's like, it's usually something you already know, you just needed to hear from somebody else maybe, or you needed confirmation on it. And then it's never like, oh, you have to do this, or this is something it's like, you sit with that and then you move from there. And so between the, the, the wanting women to kind of take charge of their own energy and their, you know, knowing that we have everything that we need within us and then obviously being a herbalist and knowing that you know women lose touch with their bodies and you know there's a whole other story about how about women and their bodies <laughs> for another day <laughs> um, that that I I kind of like wanted to put what I do together and so the wise woman revolution was born <laughs> Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it's, re it's really great. And, you know, the wise woman is sort of like becoming more relevant now and is actually, be, you know, a lot more people, um, a lot more women are connecting to, to, to that. And obviously, you know, you've got the wise men as well. Mm -hmm. 
that, that, that's that's coming in into the into the fore you know and it's, it's interesting for the last couple of shows and it's you know we've been talking about balance you know the balance mm -hmm. between the masculine and the feminine um and how the two actually work hand in hand with each other one is no better than the other they are mm -hmm. equal um on, on 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 the same level and it is all about balance in our lives isn't it it is yeah yeah and like even when i'm talking about like you know i just happen to work with women so that's you know and yeah, you're, you're my um, main, your main clients because yeah we need more men it's like me you know the majority yeah. of my clients are women but you know but i'm quite happy to work with men but yeah. men don't tend to a lot of a lot of their businesses are more feminine based because men just don't come and do it so men out there you know we're always work well, you're always welcome to come and work with us absolutely absolutely like you know and that's it like and even within what the work that i do i'm always talking about having the balance between the 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 feminine and the masculine and that that sometimes is is um a big a big deal with with you know our businesses as well because you know um when we're when we connect into that energy as well we do find that there is like an imbalance and and when i'm talking about i talk to women in my sessions about it you know i'm talking about you know the masculine is is that structure it's that part where you take action and you do something about it and then the feminine part is the part where you go into that flow and we've we've kind of been brought up in a world where it's kind of like go 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 and do 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 and set your goals and do something and and we're realizing you know slowly that that's not how we're built and especially women you know and i'm not trying to exclude men but especially women we're not built to go 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 and and not have that you know just that feminine type flow you know and so that's another part of what I'm trying to do as well is to get women to tap into the divine feminine and the divine masculine and find that balance where they can do the work that they need to do, have the structures and the systems that they need, but also then just go, okay, the world will not fall apart if I take the day off. <laughs> you know? yeah because we have that in us as well and we think that if i'm not always there and, I'm in, and we have a lot of internet gurus and people are like you have to be there you have to be there and and sometimes it's like it's too much for our systems you know and we burn ourselves out so i'm all about trying to find that balance and the the archetype i suppose of the wise woman she knows that balance you know she knows that that it's 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 like yeah she'll do the things that need to be done but also take the time to rest you know yeah and that that's perfect yeah we we do need to take take the time off sometimes just just mm -hmm. to, you know even if it's just 10 15 minutes just that that time to kind of like I, okay i'm just forgetting about everything for 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 for, for 15 minutes and i'm just going to just sit yeah yeah and I, I i work a lot with the seasons and the cycles of the year obviously because i'm a herbalist but also um i have uh, studied a lot of celtic shamanism so a lot of that is to do with you know working with the seasons and the cycles and i i you know i talk uh, as well about you know we have like even seasons in the day where there is times like we still have we have a winter in our day where we can tune into the what i call we, i'm talking about the archetype of the wise woman but in in celtic mythology she's called the kalak and she is the the old wise woman and so if we tune into the winter she's the wise woman who sits in the cave and she's just everything is quiet in the winter and everything is so we can bring that 10 15 minutes into our day by by saying okay i can have the spring and the summer and the autumn in my day but i also need the winter where i just sit and rest because that sets you up for the rest of the day and the rest of the week even you know and we can do that throughout our week where we have a day off you know yeah. for a few days off <laughs> <laughs> yeah depending on on, on, yeah. What, on on what's on what's going on because because i'm guessing when you're tuned into your business anyway and, and you're in that flow that taking that day off means your business is still going to be um, working for you and generating clients or exactly money or, or whatever for you yeah yeah and then when we have that connection with the soul of our business as well 
we're much more settled in ourselves because we're like, okay, I'm getting divine guidance here. Like, this is not just me on my own here. The universe has my back. I'm supported in this. So knowing that when you walk away, that it's it's just still there. That and then when you're when you know that the the universe like has your back and and you're supported, like even you know with the angels and all that, and you're supported in your business like that, then it comes across with the people who are going to work with you as well and the, your clients and everything. So they're kind of, you know, we're, I suppose, role models for our clients. Like if we're like, go, go, go all the time, <laughs> then we can't be, be you know, and, and we can't take a day off and we can't walk away. Then, then you know, we're no good to anybody else. So we we do what we need to do so that other people will, you know, kind of see what we're doing as well. So we're walking our talk, I suppose, is the... Yeah, we, which yeah. Make, which makes absolute sense because as women we do have a habit of okay, right, let's sort everyone else out before we actually sort ourselves out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and and like you know, and I'm sure there's like you know, there's plenty of men who are doing it too. But like, there's a lot of women who you know, before they go to work or before they leave the kids, they'll make the dinner. They'll make you know, and even if they're leaving their kids with the partner, they still make the dinner. Make sure that there's something there that you know, and then it's like, and now I can leave. You know, and then they're ringing to check. Is everything okay? <laughs> you yeah, know, and, exactly. and, so, and and it's like you know, our, um, uh, women that can afford, our, um, you know, have or has someone coming to do the cleaning for them. How many actually clean the house before the cleaner comes in, so the cleaner doesn't see how dirty the whole house is? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, like, yeah. I, I certainly won't be doing that I'll be like just mm. come in and come in don't care what, what it's like <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. How, housework is not my top priority I I, I will be honest yeah. on that. I have so many other things um going on that a little bit of dust doesn't really worry me and I always look at it that dust could be the ashes of somebody who's been cremated and that that might might be in my house so if I'm dusting them away I'm just like someone that's it <laughs> I love it and I also actually um you know uh, like I'm all on for having support in your business as well and so for women a lot of the time it is having a cleaner you know having somebody come in and support you so that you can don't have to do that and then you get to do your thing and that's being a wise woman as far as I'm concerned because then you're taking something off your plate because sometimes we're in a position where we don't need a VA or we don't need you know somebody to help us particularly in the day-to-day -day running of our business but what we do need is somebody to mind the kids or somebody to clean the house you know because maybe you're double jobbing it and you've got a full-time job and you're doing something on the side or you've got the kids full time or whatever so yeah like you know hire a cleaner part of your team <laughs> exactly just don't clean before the cleaner gets in yes exactly exactly leave leave it up to the cleaner <laughs> exactly you know that does a couple of an extra day it's not going to make yeah. any difference and they could exactly. be someone's relative um people will be going oh my god she's um <laughs> but, <laughs> That's the way. It, that's that's the way it is. Um, so, as you know, um, I do um, guided meditations and angelical card readings. And each week, I like to ask my guests what they would like me to do for though for themselves and for those watching. So, Katrina, would you like me to do an angel oracle card, or would you like me to do a mini guided meditation? I think an angel oracle card would be nice. I think I think that would be mm -hmm. absolutely perfect as well. And we like doing that. Mm -hmm. um, now, as always, when I do the cards, I don't um, do the cards to predict the future. I do the cards for what you need to know for your highest good at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. So although I work with past life regression, I work with the past. When I work with the past, it's to heal and clear it so that you can be fully present. And when I work with the future, it's um it's so you know what's happening in the future so that you can be come back and be fully present in the here and now so everything is always yeah. going to be i always say to my to to my clients that the future is written in pencil you know that whatever whatever happens in the sessions you know it's like it's there for you to do whatever you need to do with this and so as you say so that you can be fully present and you know you kind of know where you're going but it's written in pencil yeah you know? yeah yeah you have to take the action mm -hmm. so what does Katrina and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? What is Katrina? Oh, okay. 
it's actually really as you as always it's the most perfect card grace and gratitude through gratitude joy expands oh that's a lovely card so that's absolutely um perfect with this so 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 obviously what this is saying for you katrina um is that where you're so grateful um for for what you've got in your life with what what you're doing um your joy is actually expanding so it's confirmation that the grace and gratitude you're bringing to your business are um or into yourself is actually working working for you um and it's bringing you in that peace that calm that joy um that lift that lifts you up so that is really brilliant and for those watching you know be grateful you know when you're when you're grateful um you, you know your joy does expand and the universe are, um, sort of like provides more of the stuff that you're grateful for and you need to accept it with grace um mm -hmm. you know when abundance comes your way accept it with grace not with oh my god that's come to me just 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 to, um accept accept it you know and be grateful for your business yeah yeah and like a, a practice that i do every every night before i go to bed is i write 10 things i'm grateful for and and it's like you know i've been on this path for you know a, a long time and you know i kind of like you could get the attitude of like well i know all of this stuff and i don't need to know i'm grateful anyway but but it's like such a, a really good practice to have is to sit down and think of all the things that you're grateful for because at the end of the day then you're like you have to go through all of the really good things that happened so you can find just 10 things you know um so yeah yeah and as you say accept with grace i love that it's perfect yeah and and of course you know grateful doesn't need to be great big things you know grateful yeah. that, that you didn't get caught in the rain grateful that you got that parking in spot you know um yeah. grateful that you were able to open your window and stick your, your head out the window and breathe in some fresh air um you know i i don't write mine down but literally as i lay down before i go to sleep in my head i sort of i go through um what, what i'm grateful for so there's so many ways of doing it but even the yeah. tiniest little thing like the food you know i'm yeah. grateful that i was able to eat today yeah. little little tiny things like that um uh, mm -hmm. are absolutely perfect and when and i think when you're doing the, um, the gratitude as well is to actually be joyful with the gratitude yeah 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 absolutely so katrina do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers um, I suppose if you've, um, if you're a spiritual business owner and, um, you are kind of, you know, like all of us kind of winging it, I suppose, <laughs> you know, and we're kind of, we're, we're, you know, sometimes we feel like we're making it up as we're going along and we think that we're on our own. Um, just remember that you have a whole team of support behind you, whether it's through like angels, uh, whether it's through spirit uh, guides, the whole lot, but also remember that your 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 business has a soul, it has energy too, and that you can tap into that. And that like when, once you kind of remember that you have a whole support team behind you, it doesn't feel as lonely, and it also makes it kind of it makes it easier, and you can kind of become more aligned, I suppose in what you're doing rather than the scattered kind of energy or whatever, you know, it makes, you know, and then finding that time in your day to actually tune in to your business and kind of, you know, what, what do you, what do you want? Like, what, what is it that, you know, we can co-create together rather than thinking you have to do it all alone. So. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yes. And, uh, the, um, the, uh, so the, the, the spirit who guides my business, very interesting lady <laughs> um, so i hope everyone you felt you've enjoyed this and found it insightful um because i know i definitely have so if katrina if people want to connect with you how do they do that okay so i have a website um it is uh, katrinahicks.com and i'm also on facebook at the the wise, wise woman revolution um dash katrina hicks i think um and i also have a facebook group called the wise woman revolution so and we have lots of fun in there 
Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll actually um, post those details um, in the links. Um, yeah, and the Facebook group is um, is is really great um, <laughs> for it. So thank you so much for Katrina. Uh, thank you so much, Katrina, and thank you everyone for watching um, and any and the questions and saying hello. And of course, if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your life purpose and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. So please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call to find out more about each other and whether I can actually help you on your journey um, to take you to, um, in charge of your destiny. And of course, I do have a, a free a weekly newsletter where you can sign up to get a free gift of a future life um, progression session um, where I'll take you into the future to get some guidance and clarity. And also I have, there's a couple of other gifts there as well. Um, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for Katrina. It's been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Brilliant. And I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women and men who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, and you feel like and you feel that you want to and i would hope that you do subscribe to my channel and of course if you hit the bell you can be notified not only when this show goes live but also when i post guided meditations um, that will help you and various other things on youtube and i look forward to seeing you all same time same place next week bye bye <laughs>